Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. All right, so here's what's going on. I have been filming with my FX30 since I got it. That day I set it up, put everything together, and I have filmed with it every single day since then. Problem is, is that with this whole start in the new job thing and doing the old job, I have had absolutely zero time available to me to edit and post anything. So again, I filmed every day and I had filmed with the intention of cutting together a video and I just haven't been able to. So I think I would have done one, maybe two videos in two weeks. I'm happy to say that as of close of business yesterday, I have now completed everything that I promised I would complete for the old job and I'm done. I sent the old boss a wrap up email letting him know that I was all done and everything now falls on whoever he's going to have cover all that shit because I'm done. Now I can commit 100% to the new day job, which is going to be challenging because I feel like I don't know what I'm doing. So I've been talking about that incessantly and I've been super stressed and freaking out and all that kind of stuff. My wife is like, dude, you got to calm down, take a breath. And my new boss is like, look, I don't want to reprimand you. I don't want you to feel like I'm reprimanding you, but I'm reprimanding you. You need to relax. So I'm going to show you everything that I've filmed. Well, not everything, but I'm going to give you the gist of what I filmed with this FX30 since I got it, because I have filmed with it every day since I got it. And it is fantastic. I was especially super duper pleased the other night when I had to go pick up some dinner. It was already dark out. And I was using this FX30 with the Sony 11 millimeter f1.8 lens. And it was like it was daytime. I mean, the, Sony, they're just sorcerers, man, because it was just unbelievable how, how, you know, like bright it was. And I was in the Forerunner. I was walking around my driveway and all that kind of stuff. And I mean, it looked like it was day. It really is impressive. That's just one on a, on, a, on a list of things that, that I'm impressed by, but I couldn't be happier with this camera. I, right off the bat, let's just get that out of the way. Monkey seal of approval. I'm going to show you everything I did with this. I have done everything with this camera that I would do as the devious monkey, meaning I'm going to walk around and vlog with it. I'm going to test it in Great Neck Park. I'm going to drive around in my Forerunner and road rage, although I had to cut a shit ton of that out because I've been stressed to the max the past two weeks. You know, and I sat here in the office in various positions and all that kind of stuff to film, and it works like a champ. So I got my flow going on here. So I have decided that I obviously will be keeping this camera. I'm going to keep the a7 IV as a second camera, hybrid camera, I guess, because I'm going to use it for, for stills a lot as well. Obviously, I'm going to keep my a7R4. I'm not going to sell everything and step up to the a7R5. I don't need it. That was just all the excitement of, oh my God, this thing's pretty amazing, but I don't need it. Not for what I do. And also, I have my uh, Fuji X-T4, which also, the X-T5, it's pretty cool. It's awesome. They did a really good job with it. And and I like the fact that they're sticking, you know, to their to their roots, as they say, and they they went back to making it more about photography rather than videography, although the video specs are pretty good too. But I love my X-T4. So I'm going to keep that, but I am going to sell the ZV-E10. I don't need that. And I'm going to sell the 90 millimeter macro to start with. And then I'll see what else, uh, you know, maybe down the road goes. I'm not sure I need the 85 G Master, but it's an amazing lens. So I think I might regret selling it, but we'll see. So on the chopping block, ZV-E10 and the Sony 90 millimeter macro. So if you want it or you know anybody that does, drop a line down below. Now, today's project, boys and girls, this is born of two things. One, for some unknown reason, the monkey, the gadget freak, the excessive buyer of all things technology, doesn't have a 4K TV. Well, I should say I didn't have a 4K TV. Uh, I've never felt the need for it. I'm literally like I can touch the TV. That's how close I am to it. It's a 40 inch Sony. I have the same TV in the bedroom to watch anime. And I have my 43 inch TV downstairs. I mean, yeah, we watch a lot more than cartoons, but mostly cartoons. I don't really need it, but I've always been intrigued by it. 
bless DSLR video shooter and curse him all at the same time because he is amazing and his videos really have uh, pushed me to buy a lot of stuff. So for instance, my little uh, rolling mobile studio, that was all because of DSLR video shooter. And this is because of DSLR video shooter. There it is. I got the Hisense 4K R6 series LED TV. His video, he got the 55 and it, you, you can go watch it. He did this video about how he uses a TV as, uh, as a background and as it, like laying it flat out on a desk and he did all this really cool shit with it. The biggest thing was that he was like, yeah, dude, this is a crazy sale. It's only $300 on Amazon right now. So when I looked, I saw that they had a 65 and I was like, huh, wonder how much that is. It only went up $100. This freaking thing was $400. It was 60% off. So if you're looking for uh, you know, a 4K TV, 55, 65 inch, they had other sizes too, but $400 for this thing. I mean, it was regularly like a thousand bucks. So obviously the monkey had to go big. So I got that and then that box is the wall mount. So I'm gonna be putting it up on that wall right there and it basically is gonna go from here all like all the way over to here. It's gonna cover pretty much most of that wall. That is today's project. All right, so I made the command decision that I am gonna to go to the farmer's market thingy there and get some breakfast. If for some reason I get there and they're not doing all that shit, then I'll probably just go to Three Ships and, and get a sandwich and, and a coffee, which, you know, I guess I could do anyways. <laughs> Okay, kids, you know where I'm at. It's pretty packed down here, so it's gonna be a little while before I get my drink, but I figured since I just barreled down that gigantic sausage sandwich and I'm covered in grease, I might as well top it off with a nice iced fungo latte. That's what we're gonna get. Bean has been gotten and it's delicious. Okay, I also got some bean for my queen. I'm gonna go deliver that. Let's go see my queen, yay. Let's go to Pleasure House Point and check out some birdies. Ah, sphincter loosened. Huh. Okay, boys and girls, this is not going to work out at all. This is too heavy of a setup to handhold properly without having the ability to push it up to my eye as another like point of contact. And the way that I have this set up with the F38 plate on the camera, but not on the lens foot, it's too heavy. It's too heavy in it, and the camera's like, the lens is basically tilting the camera down. If I loosen it, then it's like, put it this way, this is not gonna work. So I'm just gonna stop right now. Let's just go out and enjoy nature. Also, I didn't realize it, but this battery is pretty low. It's already down to 39%. It's dropping really quick. So I'm gonna shut this off and only film when I have to film so that I have some battery life left, dumbass. Okay, so that was a total bust and that's the way it goes. I forgot to eat lunch though, again, I gotta get, at, get into that bad habit again where I'm having like a, a 
like a shitty breakfast, if at all, and then I'm not eating all day, and I'm gonna try to not do that when I'm on the road, because this is the kind of shit that makes me race from place to place and not take care of myself, and I don't wanna do that. So I'm gonna go home and have a snack and start trying to cut a video together of all this shit that I've been filming. What do you think? Here I am from my room in front of the beautiful, majestic Pacific Ocean. Isn't it grand? Looks pretty good, doesn't it? Can't hear the birds chirping, the ocean waving. So here's the test. This is the setup that I have going on. I have my FX30 with a Sony 35 millimeter 1.8 APS-C lens mounted on a tripod on my table, moved all the way back. It's probably about four feet away from me. I'm about two feet away from the wall. And on the wall, I have just mounted a Hisense 65 inch 4K LED TV. And in between me and the, as you can see, if I put my hand up, I block the light. I have a Ulanzi, a little Ulanzi light set at 5600, 75%. And that's kind of giving me the glow, the warm glow that I've got going on here. Although I'm gonna to have to figure out where the hell I really need to be to get the best lighting. Cause I still look a little bit weird in the camera. This is all about me having this freaking TV up here. I got the 65 incher because I wanted it to be big. It's freaking huge. I don't know how the hell I managed to get that thing up there by myself, but I did. So here we are, and this is why I did it. So that I can have different backgrounds. Now I went onto YouTube and I found basically an ocean view out of a window looping video going and I just didn't even think about the fact that it would have sound and and you know with the ocean and the birds and all that shit so that's actually pretty cool and I left them on you might be able to hear them the other thing that I have done is I've looked at various like in space but they were a little bit too much for me uh you know going through like warpy wormhole things and what have you so at this point now I just need to get the lighting right and I can probably take my, my um, falconized light and slide that over and try to get it to, to be a little bit better than this Ulanzi light. But the thing is, is that I have it, I have all the cords sort of like tied into the, to each other for right there. So I don't think I'm gonna screw with that. I'm not gonna do this all the time. It was just something that I thought would be fun. And it was a way for me to change the studio up without having to paint. <laughs> Thank you to DSLR Video Shooter for the idea. I watched his video about how he was using a 55 inch Hisense TV to, you know, have various backgrounds. And he also laid it down on a desk so that he could like set lenses and cameras on it and do various things with that. I'm not doing that. There's no way I'm taking this freaking thing off the wall now that I've got it up there. But I did want to have uh, like different backgrounds that I could put up there. Also at times what I can do is I can go out and I can video stuff that I'm doing and then just sort of slide over and have it put up on the screen here and show you exactly what it is that I'm blathering on about or something along those lines. Or hell, I could just put a porno in the background and we can see what we can get away with, right? All right, but other than that, you know, that was today's big project. I wanted to get the TV mounted and working, which it is, and once I figured out how I was able to just like cast it to the TV, which you could do because it's got Roku built in. I also have it hooked up through like Apple Home home kit whatever and i could just go onto my ipad mini and hit mirror and send it to the tv and then we're good to go i can tell you right now i'm not satisfied with this light because i am way the hell too warm i'm too red and it looks artificial and fucked up so i'm gonna have to come up with something better than that if i'm gonna do this on a regular basis i will probably have to just detach the cables there so that I can wheel that thing over here since that was the whole point of having that thing was to be able to wheel it anywhere in my house and and use it and then we'll see how it goes now i know right now because i have that background and it's so bright and colorful that you probably can't see the reflection of my two computer screens over there with it with the warpy shit warpy colory shit flying around but when i was doing the space scene you could see it like right here in the corner so that kind of sucked but what are you going to do? That's what this is all about. This is all figuring out how the hell to do all this stuff. But I can definitely tell you for sure that that's going to bug the crap out of me, that lighting. And these Ulanzi lights are neat if I want to put color into it. But as far as like lighting me in as a key light, 
it's a no-go. So I'm gonna have to figure something else out and I don't know what that's gonna be, but we'll play around. So for now, I'm gonna bolt, I'm gonna go get our dinner and then we'll see what else we can do. So I'm just gonna end this right now and I'll just sandwich everything in between all these little segments that I've been shooting. That being said, that's all you get for today. So if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.